The greatest machine you will ever own is your body. It is more complicated than any computer. Human body More complicated than any computer. It lasts for a lifetime and it's yours for completely free. Your body is made up of hundreds of different parts. You probably know the names of some of them that you can see, but there are many organs which are deep inside you. Body parts often come in pairs. You have two eyes, two ears, two lungs, two feet, and so on. This means that you have a handy spare in case one of them gets damaged. Handy spare Water is one of the most important chemical in your body. Water is about two-thirds of your weight. Although we look different than the animals, but our bodies are similar from inside. Our closest animal relatives are the chimpanzees. Chimpanzees. All the human bodies work in the same way, but everyone is different. Nobody looks, sounds or thinks exactly like you. You are different because of the genes that comes from your parents. Mother Father Genes DNA All bodies are made up of organs. Organs Your skin is an organ. Skin. Skin is wrapped around the framework of bones and other organs such as the heart, the brain and the lungs. Cover the body. Organs work to keep you alive and each does a different job. Organs work together to make up a system such as the muscular system and the circulatory system. Circulatory system Organs are made up of tissues which are made of two groups of similar cells. Cells are different depending upon the organs they are part of. Skin cells are different from the bone cells. Human cells Neural cells Muscle cells Stem cells You know what blood is. It's the red stuff that oozes out when you get a paper cut. An average person has one to one and a half gallons or four to six liters of blood in the body. One to one and a half gallons or four to six liters. But what is blood really and where does it come from? Your body needs constant supply of food, oxygen and other essentials and also prompt removal of waste to live life. The blood delivers the services and disposes of the waste from the body.
Mm. Billions of red cells carrying oxygen gives blood its red color. Red blood cells. Mm. Blood also contains white blood cells that defends your body by invading pathogens or germs. Red blood cells. An average adult has 10 pints or 5.7 liters of blood in the body. A newborn baby has only cup full of blood. 10 pints or 5.7 liters. Mm. The blood has the unique ability to turn from liquid to solid in minutes and it helps to mend cuts on your skin. A plaster can help a cut to heal by closing the skin and keeping out dirt. A plaster can stop you from scratching which can make the cuts worse. There are four main types of blood called the blood groups. A, O, A, B and B. Now you know blood is important to us. But what can you do? Kids generally are not allowed to donate the blood. But you can donate the blood when you grow old and save a life. Bladder Pee is one of the first body fluids that a kid learns about. You probably... You learned more about pee when you started using toilet instead of diapers. Let's understand more about the urine and how it comes out of the body. All day long, small stream of urine trickles down the kidney. Urethra Bladder Urine is collected in an organ called bladder until you go to the toilet. The amount of urine the bladder holds varies from person to person. Some people's bladder can hold lot of urine and some people's can hold some. Your bladder mm. stretches up as it fills. Stretches. Mm. This sends a signal to the brain making you want to go to the toilet. An adult's bladder stretches from the size of a plum to the grapefruit. Adult's bladder size. Plum. Grapefruit. It can hold almost 500 milliliters or one pint of urine. Your bladder is of a size of an orange when it holds the urine. The bladder has waterproof lining to stop it from leaking. Waterproof lining. Urine leaves from the body from a tube called urethra. Urethra. Ureter. Kidney. Bladder. 
It is normally kept shut by two muscles. You might not think much about peeing or about your urinary tract, but these are the ways you can have it in a proper manner. Brain How do you remember the way to your friend? Your brain is in charge of these things and The brain runs the whole show and controls just about everything you do even when you're asleep. Hmm. Not bad for something that looks like a wrinkly gray sponge and only weighs about Your brain contains billions of nerve cells called neurons that carry signals to and from the different parts of your body through the central nervous system. Your brain trip As it grows it wrinkles up to fit your skull which acts like a protective crash helmet. Hmm. If you stretch out the brain, it can cover an ironing board. The shock absorbing liquids fill the space between the skull and the brain. When you start learning about something, you create connection between your cells and the brain. Next time you do it, the connections are already there, so it's easier. The cerebrum is the main part of your brain. It stores the information and controls your movement. The cerebellum is also responsible for thinking, speaking and performing complicated tasks such as sums. Hearing. Cerebellum. Smell. Cerebrum. Taste. Your cerebellum helps to balance and move your muscles. You use bit of your brain when you dance. Whatever else you do, your brain stems make sure that your heart and breathing never stops. Maybe you want the exact toy for your birthday and you get it and you go really happy. Your friend is sick and you really become sad. And your little brother messed up your room and you really get angry. Where do these feelings come from? They come from your brain, of course. So what can you do for your brain? Eat healthy food which is rich in potassium and calcium. Two minerals which are important for the nervous system. Get a lot of play time and exercise. Ears. Did you hear something? Did you hear something? Maybe the sound that you heard was quiet as your cat licking the milk. Maybe it was loud like a siren going by. Sounds are everywhere. Hmm. You have two cool parts on your body that helps you hear them all. 
your ears. Mm. Your ears are in charge of collecting the sounds, processing them and sending sound signals to the brain. Mm. We do not notice the slight delay between someone's lip moving and the sounds actually reaching the ears. It is too fast. Sounds normally reach one ear first and then the other. Sound reaching other ear. Mm. This helps our brain where sounds are coming from and how far they are. Sensors in your ears work with those in your eyes, muscles, joints and feet to let your brain know your body's position. Feet Eyes Muscles Joints The liquid in the tubes of your ears is like water in a cup. Eardrum Middle ear Eustachian tube Cochlea When you spin, it continues to slush around for some time, even if you have stopped. Your brain gets confused which way you are and you feel dizzy as a result. Mm. Partially deaf people may use hearing aids. This makes the sounds entering their ears louder and easier to hear. Your ears take care of you and so you take care of them. Take care of your ears. Protecting your ears by wearing earplugs when in loud music concert or around noisy machines like wood or metal shops. Take care of your ears. Earplugs, noisy machinery, wood or metal shop. Keep the volume down on the stereo, especially when you're in the car or wearing headphones. No loud music. The last important thing is, don't go poking around your ears with the cotton buds. Don't poke your ears. Cotton swab. Which part of the body lets you read back of the milk box? Check out the skate, the cricket ball heading towards you. Which part lets you cry when you are sad and makes tears come out of them? Which part's muscles just to things that are close up or are far away?
If you have guessed that it's an eye, you are absolutely right. The eyes are at work from the moment you get up to the moment you go to sleep. Day and night. They take in tons of information about the world around you. They help you see shapes, colors, movements and much much more. Then they send the information to the brain for processing. Hmm. You can see the eyes are pretty amazing. Eyes So let's take up a tour about its many parts. The parts of the eye. The parts of the eye. Hmm. You can check about the different parts of the eye by looking to your eyes in the mirror or by looking in your friend's eyes without touching. Your eyes are fragile, squeegee balls made with watery jelly. So always protect your eyes. Squeegee Jelly hmm. Eyebrows sits above your eyes and prevents sweat dripping into your eyes. Eyebrows Your eyelids and eyelashes stop dust from entering your eyes and sweep them away. Eyelids Tear glands behind your eyes produce drops of salty fluid. When you blink your eyelids, sweep the fluid over your eyes to keep them clean. If something gets into your eyes or you feel strong emotions, the drops turn into floods of tears. Crying Blue, green, grey or brown Green Brown Gray Blue What color is of your eyes? The color of your iris depends on the instructions of your eye color that you inherit from your parents. Father Your eyes are a bit like video cameras that filled with fluid. Video camera. Light enters the eyes through the hole in the iris, pupil and travels to the retina. Messages are sent to the brain which tells you what you see. Iris. Pupil. Brain Hair When you think of the hair, you probably think of the hair on your head. But there is hair on almost every part of your body. Hair Skin surface Hair Sebum Follicle Sebaceous gland Hair 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 grows on most of your body. Body.
body hand back side leg ears shoulder head nose The thickest is on your head where you have between 100,000 and 150,000 hair. 150,000 hairs on your head. When you're washing your hair, brushing, combing or even sitting, you lose some hair, about 50 to 100 hair every day. But don't worry new hair are constantly replacing those which have fallen out starts to grow hmm your hair and nails are made up of the same thing it's called keratin and most of it is dead The hair and the nails are only alive at the roots. So it does not hurt when you cut your hair or trim the nails. Hair. What kind of hair do you have? Black and curly, blonde and straight or some other combination? Hair color comes from melanin. Melanin is the substance that gives hair and skin its pigment. The lighter someone's hair, the less melanin inside it. A person with brown or black hair has much more melanin than someone with blonde or red hair. Older people lose the melanin pigment in their hair as they age, making the hair look gray or white. Grandfather Hmm. Often a person's skin color goes with the color of his or her hair. Many blonde have light skin whereas many people with darker skin have not brown or black color. Blonde hair, dark skin, light skin. A kid's hair color is determined by one or both of his or her parents' hair color. Mother, father, kids' hair color. It's important to keep the hair clean. Some people wash their hair every day, but others clean them once or twice a week. It depends on your hair and what types of things you're doing, exercising or swimming. Eat healthy diet because nutritious diet help you to keep healthy from inside and outside. Fresh foods. Swimming. Washing. Exercising. heart We see and hear about hearts everywhere A long time ago people even thought that their emotions came from the hearts Emotion Hmm heart beats faster when the person is scared or excited Heart beat We know the emotions come from the brain and the brain tells heart to speed up. What does the heart up to then and how does it keep busy and how does it work? Let's find out. Your heart is really a muscle. 
It is located little to the left of the middle of your chest and it's about the size of your fist. Your heart never gets tired. Your heart is a pump that pushes blood around your whole body. Pumping Each time your heart beats, it throws out small cup full blood and refills for the next beat. When you run, your heart beats faster. This gets more oxygen to your muscles. Run Most kids are born with the healthy heart. You should keep your heart in a good shape. You should follow some things to keep your heart happy. If you want to have healthy heart, you should do exercises. Be active in a way that gives huffing and puffing. Like jumping rope, dancing and playing basketball. Try and be active for 30 minutes and if an hour, it's even better. Huffing, puffing, jumping rope, dancing, playing, 30 minutes. Try to eat 5 servings of variety of fruits and vegetables every day. Healthy foods, nuts, Try to eat 5 servings of variety of fruits and vegetables every day. Eat fruits and vegetables. Avoid sugary soft drinks and fruit drinks. Avoid sugary soft drinks. Don't smoke because it can damage the heart and blood vessels. Don't smoke. Now you surely know that your heart does not look like a valentine. You surely need to take care of your heart because it does pumping from the day you were born and for the whole life. Intestine The small intestine is a long tube which is about one and a half inches to two inches or 3.5 to 5 centimeters around. It's packed inside you beneath your stomach. If you stretch out an adult intestine, it would be about 22 feet long or 6.7 meters long. It's like 22 notebooks lined up all in a row. 22 feet long or 6.7 meters. Mm. The small intestine breaks down the food mixture even more. That your body can absorb all vitamins, minerals, proteins, carbohydrates and fats. Fat. Break the food. Minerals. Protein, vitamins, carbohydrates. Mm. The grilled chicken or your pizza is full of proteins and little fats. Protein, fat. The small intestine can help to extract them with a little help from three friends, the pancreas, the liver and the gallbladder. Pancreas, liver, gallbladder.
at 3 or 4 inches around or 7 to 10 centimeters, the large intestine is fatter than the small intestine. 3 or 4 inches. and is almost the last stop on the digestive tract. Digestive Like the small intestine, it is packed inside the body and it measures 1.5 meters or 5 feet. The large intestine has a tiny tube with the close and coming out of it called the appendix. It's a part of the digestive tract and it does not seem to do anything. The Kidney Everybody knows that some organs in the human body are necessary for survival. You need your brain, you need your heart, your lungs, your kidneys. Body parts Heart Kidney Lungs Brain Kidneys? Absolutely. Kidneys are every bit important as the heart. Kidney. You need at least one kidney to stay alive. One kidney to stay alive. Kidneys normally come in pairs. Pairs. If you have ever seen a kidney bean, then you have a pretty good idea what the kidney looks like. Beans. Each kidney is about 5 inches or 13 centimeters long and about 3 inches or 8 centimeters wide. 5 inches. Centimeters. Kidney is about the size of your computer mouse. Mouse. Your body gets rid of waste chemicals and excess water by making urine. Urine. Urine comes from two organs called kidneys. Urethra, bladder, kidney, ureter. It filters and cleans blood as it flows through, removing chemicals that your body doesn't need. Clean blood. Your kidneys keep the water level in your body perfectly balanced. Water level If you drink too much water, your kidneys make watery urine to get rid of any excess. When your body is short of water, your kidneys pass less amount of urine. Your kidneys work together with your brain to control the water level. When this level is low, your brain releases a hormone that makes your kidney say water. Brain Now you know what does the kidneys do and how important they are. Learning Human Body Part 1